welcome to you your sega sapsd youtube channel please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the real time support for few days today we are discussing about back order process what the back order process we will see now in sap okay usually if you see here i created on sale order uh, for demo i will show you one thing first let me create one material i am creating new material here I think I have to open Okay, so what is the back order process? For example, one customer, one ex customer place the order with the 5 quantity Okay, in MMB, if you see the stock, we have only 5 stock, we don't have stock, we have only 5 stock Ex customer place the order 5 quantity Again, why customer came? Okay, again, why customer came? He also places the order five quantity, but stock is not there. The stock is not there, stock is reserved for ex customer. In that time, okay, if client want to, okay, if client want to cancel the ex customer sale order quantity, it has to be confirmed to why customer. In that case, what we will do, we will do the back order process, okay. We'll do the back order process. What the back order process? We are cancelling the we are cancelling the order confirmation from the X customer. We are confirming to the Y customer. Okay. We'll see an SAP. First, what do I will do? First, I will create one material. First, I will create one material, a copy from okay. I will copy from this material. Okay. Industry is food industry. F E R T is the material type. I am creating one new material. As it is system will copy the as it is data. Okay. Okay, this is my new material. Just now we created okay. What is the material code? Five double zero six five seven five zero. So I am copying this material. Now what I will do? I'll post the stock for this material. So I am doing the stock posting for that material. So if you see two quanta I posting. Now I'm saving. So if you see MMBE slash n MMBE. If we see here for that material, what the stock now? Two quantity is there. Okay. What the stock is available for this material? Two quantity. Now what I am doing? I have the two customers. I have the two customers. Next, I am going to show you that. This is the one customer. For this customer, what is the delivery priority? I am going to give that high priority. This is the high priority customer. Okay. I have the another customer. This is another customer. This shipping dub we can have the delivery priority. So it is a low, low priority customer. Okay. It is a low priority total, 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 I have two customers. Now what I am doing? I am creating sale order now. Okay, now I am creating sale order. Okay, before okay, yet before doing this, we have some configuration for back order process. Okay, we have some configuration of back order process. What is that? We will see now. Okay, see, we will see now. First, go to SPRO slash and SPRO IMG screen sales and distribution basic functions available to check and transfer requirement next next click on available to check available to check with ATP logic next click on click on this one is the right what is that carry out control for available to check okay
okay what i am doing now i am copying this i am creating my own as a bo bo nothing but a back order process i think already the combination is there z to bo zero to if it is not there we have to copy and we have to create okay we'll do one thing first of all check metal master what is the what is the availability check what is the availability check group is there in metal master first we have to check that so if you see for this material what is the availability checking group here 0 to so i am changing to y6 this is my availability checking group next what we have to do next what we have to do okay next what we have to do go to ovaz ovaz nothing but here. the combination of checking group and checking group sorry ovz9 combination of checking group checking rule we have some controls now what i am doing here i am copying the standard ov okay 0 to a what is our uh, checking group in metal master v6 right bo bo nothing but a back order process okay bo nothing but a back order process so if you check this what it means if the stock is not there system will con system will not confirm on future date okay if you uncheck it if stock is not there system will confirm future date now back order process when we are going to use if the stock is not there okay whatever stock is there is stock is reserved for some other sale order we have to capture the stock to new sale order in that case we are going to use the back order process for example the low priority customer he placed the order with the two quantity okay after that again high priority customer came he again he places the order with the two quantity but stock is not available in that case what will happen okay St order will not confirm on high priority customer but we need to confirm on high priority customer then what we are doing we are cancelling the order confirmation from the low priority customer we are assigning that order quantity to high priority customer in that case what it means okay we are high uh, priority customer we are creating delivery and invoice if you want to do the back end process we have to check this okay we have to if you check that means if stock is not there system will not confirm the future if you uncheck that back end process will not work because of stock is not there what will do system system will confirm future date right system is confirming your future date means don't need to don't need to do the back order process because of order is confirmed system order is uh, order is confirmed future date so the customer ready to go for future date if he's not ready to go for future date then what we will do we have to come to uh, um, we have to do the configuration of back order process we have to come back and we have to remove the stock from the low priority customer we have to assign to high priority customer okay now what i'm doing i'm checking this what it means if stock is not there don't create the new sale orders if you see here i am creating one sale order with the new material whatever i created this is my low priority customer this is my material to quantity so if you see system is confirmed okay system is confirmed on today on 22 now i am saving okay address address save now i am creating one more sale order okay now I am creating one more sale order with high priority customer. Same material, same quantity. If you see, stock is not available. Okay, stock is not available. System is not confirmed. Okay, system is not confirmed. Stock is not available. Now what we have to do? We have to do the back order process. We have to do the back order process. What the, still now? What we done? Okay, still now what we done? go to spro spro sales and distribution availability check basic functions here availability check here okay availability check available transfer available available atp logic here if you see carry out control already we done this configuration what is our uh, set, uh, checking group y6 back order process bo okay so already we done this one the second step what do we have to do the second step only two steps here one is the carry out control the second one is checking rule for back order process okay these two 
these these only two steps for back arrow process what is our plan y over 10 here we have to remove 0 1 we have to assign bo back arrow processing okay now i am saving only two steps configuration one is that back arrow checking rule we need to assign to plant second one the combination of availability checking group and checking rule we need to assign here uh, what is our checking group y6 checking rule bo so these two we have to do once we done this one okay the configuration will complete then what we have to do the t code to do the back arrow process v underscore ra v underscore ra the t code is v underscore ra here we have to enter the material plant and execute okay once you enter the material plant sales area once execute okay not to diagnose this material two sales is created one sale order order is confirmed for two for the low price this customer this is one uh, this is a sale order number 46 this is a customer this is a customer this is the material order is confirmed to quantity okay for second for second uh, for second sales order for this customer order is not confirmed now what we are doing we are cancelling these two quantity we are confirming to this customer okay we are cancelling this we are confirming to this customer sell these two customers what are we are doing what are we want to do the back order process we have to sell the, those two customers and nothing but those two sale orders just to click on back order back orders for the t code v underscore v underscore ra the t code is v underscore ra okay so first what we, we have to cancel this art this uh, this car this order right this order quantity we have to cancel sell that and click on change confirmation remove the quantity just to confirm if you see order is the confirmed quantity cancelled then what we have to do sell this one click on change confirmation so we are confirming to two quantity we are confirming two quantity if you see order is confirmed okay now i am saving okay now what i am doing if you see here previously order is confirmed for this sale order now the order is confirmed for this sale order how because of we done the back order process okay if you see now i'm going to va02 this is this is our customer this is second we created previously order is not confirmed you can see order is confirmed okay now we are taking old uh, what are the customer second uh, i mean previously we created what are the sale order number 46 right 46 okay see this is a customer previously order is confirmed for this customer but if you see order is cancelled because of this confirmed quantity we assign to another customer any any quantity if you want to confirm to another customer we had we can do the back order process either it is partial or complete or else uh, if two quantity confirmed right so i will cancel one quantity one quantity i am assigning to this customer one quantity i can assign to that customer so like the partial also we can do fully also we can do so this is the back order process okay so what is the back order process just if stock is not there if stock is not there it is uh, the stock if stock is not there what are the stock is there till now this stock is reserved for some other sale order if stock is reserved for some other sale order now what we are doing we are either if you want to do the partial so for example x customer confirmed quantity 10 y customer confirm quantity 0 so x customer i can take five quantity i can assign to y customer i mean y sale order but if client want 100 uh, 10 quantity at a time 10 quantity we can assign so like that we can transfer stock from one cash, uh, one sale order to another sale order so what we have to do for that back order process we need to do okay thank you all watching the video okay please subscribe the channel for more videos next class i am going to cover text data thank you all once again for watching the video